Welcome back to another game of War Thunder. Today we're going to be taking out the Church Hill Mark 1. Just unlocked this baby the other day. Uh, making my way down the heavy tank line, the medium tank line. Sherman Firefly I'm going to be excited about once I get there. But for now I'm focusing on the upgrades of the Church Hill Mark 1. Alright, let's get into this game. Alright, let's take the Church Hill out. Church Hill Mark 1. Fun fact! First used by Canadians in the Dieppe Raid. Uh, the Dieppe Raid uh, took place uh, in August 19th, 1942. That's right, before D Day. Uh, kind of a precursor known as Operation Jubilee. Uh, 5,000 Canadians. 1,000 British and 50 Americans all landed on the beach uh, in an attempt to take the port to have a landing for further uh, for further landings to come in uh, about 50 something Churchill tanks were sent they arrived late during once daylight cracked. Uh, two of them sank, and uh, I don't know. A lot of them got stuck in the water on the beach, and the numbers keep popping up as 12 or 14 made it to the coastline, or well, the seawall. And just didn't have any uh, engineers to back them up to remove obstacles. And ran the ones that didn't uh, get destroyed, ran out of ammunition and surrendered. Uh, about 3,000 men were taken prisoner, and the rest, well, died. Anyways, moving into sea. We're gonna, uh, what is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Let's get him, boys. Let's get him, boys. Anyways, uh, I just thought that was interesting. Brand new shiny tank, bugs and all. Uh, they tried to fix the majority of them before sending them, uh, and waterproofing, yada, yada, yada. I just thought it was cool that they gave Canadians the first crack at a brand new tank. Uh, Canadians, uh, well, they didn't really develop very many tanks like the Ram and troop transport. They did build their own ECH Sherman, known as the Grizzly, but it never saw combat. Same with the Ram and Ram Mark II. Uh, yeah, but I thought that was cool. Anyways. Captain C, moving support A. This one's around the corner to the left, but we got all this over here. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah, boy. Oh, they're just pouring into A. They're gonna cap A soon. And no clear shots. We'll make our way to A. Oh, buddy, oh yeah, buddy, take out the guy to the left there on the mini map. Attention to the map! And more spawning units. Got their spawn over there. I really like doing this because it's going behind enemy lines and sticking back in. Uh, there's many variants to the church hill. Uh, it's an intact church hill. The crocodile or alligator. Anyways, instead of the uh, 75mm cannon in front of the hull, it's a flamethrower with a trailer full of fuel that passes the full length through the tank. Boy, that wasn't a fiery death trap at all. Uh, this, the Mark 1, 
the one I'm using has a 40mm cannon in the turret and a 75mm cannon poking out the front of the hull there. Uh, you can barely see it because I don't look at it much. There it is. Uh, only gets HD rounds, which I think has about 18mm of penetration. Uh, but if it does penetrate, it does all kinds of mayhem. And they're all pouring in over me to C-34s. And there's the M3 around there somewhere. Can't remember if it's a Grant or a Lee, but an M3 nonetheless. Yeah, boy, we got him. T-34, I can pen the cheat, but because uh, the British are such a new uh, a new country to the ground forces in this game, I uh, don't have that very strong a tank force, so my gunner, even though highlighted green, won't exactly shoot dead on to green. Try to aim up so the uh, hall cannon can hit too. Yeah, I'm done for. I'm surprised that one didn't finish me. Oh look, the M3 got nice and cozy right behind me. And all I did was damage the tracks. Anyways, next game. For another game. This time in the desert. Churchill Mark 1. Uh, even though it wasn't a Mark 1, uh, I think they phased them out by then for Mark 3s and we're working on the Mark 7s or 5s. Uh, they saw action in North Africa. And the most interesting story I could find was of Tiger 131. That's right, a British tank review gameplay and we're talking about a tiger. Uh, anyways, uh, North Africa, British, Churchill, uh, engaged tiger tank. Uh, the round did not penetrate. It got stuck between the gun mantlet and the top of the hull or in the turret ring. Is it? Right in the turret ring, yeah. Uh, and disabled the uh, turret from moving and the gun from going up and down. Essentially, the, uh, my understanding is the crew uh, were a bit shook up from the impact. Uh, I believe the commander hit his head or was knocked out. And so they bailed out without detonating. And uh, the British captured the tiger, their first co almost completely intact tiger, despite just needing a hammer to knock out the uh, Churchill round. Uh, he's dragged back to a port where uh, King George and Winston Churchill personally inspected the vehicle. It was paraded as a victory trophy. Uh, and spent many years in military's hands for uh, studying, uh, reverse engineering, and now, well, sorry, in the late 90s, it's handed over to the Bogdan Museum and put into a restoration program, and now is the most popular attraction of a fully running Tiger One. I believe the engine is from a Tiger II that was captured in France after D-Day. And... A new paint job. We definitely got a new paint job. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh... Tiger 131 made uh, two film appearances. Once in the 50s, I don't remember the name of that film. And... Fury with Brad Pitt. Uh, didn't quite enjoy what the tiger was doing in Fury, but it was a good movie overall. Uh, the tiger rushes forward to engage the Shermans. Uh, real tiger commander knows to fall back 
and to uh, take out the leading tank in a column and then the rear tank and then just duck hunt the middle two but other than that it's a pretty good movie honestly thought Quentin Tarantino did it by the way the ending was uh, anyways back to the Churchill uh, trying to get these T-34 I can get through their turrets and the side of their tanks and I don't think my gunner's good enough to get a dead on shot to the driver's hatch oh boy there I go but luckily as a reward I got a backup let's take this baby out Head for B. Go cap B. The enemy controls most of the Oh boy, look at that speed. I believe that was one of the main problems with the original run of Kurt Kills is the speed was always put into question. The whole idea of a infantry support tank I believe went out the window for cruisers. So they upped the speed as you can see from this church hill that is just accelerating away from me like it's no problem. Pressing the ridge, red dot to the left, red dot to the middle, which this guy looks like he's about to start shooting at. Oh yeah, stop and shoot. Well, you kind of have to, but I don't know, I'm not a fan of stopping to shoot and open. Try and make sure you have some uh, cover. Right as I do the opposite of what I like doing, just stopping and looking and shooting. Okay, let's cap the B, tap the C later. And the best idea is to T2, just defend them, but of course nobody plays like that. Tapping B and an artillery strike. A little Italian tank destroyer trying to pick a fight with two creatures. Not very smart, buddy. The enemy has most of the strategic zones. All right, so he's backing up down the hill. Oh, that was close. As far as that didn't take my track off. Can't remember if I tracked the uh, health upgraded. Yeah, I just thought that was track repair. I'm glad that they have a repair kit and then track repair, but no, it just uh, upgrades the tracks to take more damage. Ooh, yeah, target destroyed. There are spawn points over there. Oh boy, that's gonna be a problem. Better swing around and take him out. Yeah, I always find in this game you gotta build up some speed and momentum for RPMs. Just to swing it around. But for the size of Churchill maneuvers, they're alright. Like, it turns pretty fast going forward. Uh, just like every other tank in World War II, just non-existent reverse gear. Oh, oh. Okay, I see what I did wrong there. 
second shot went right to the same crew I should have aimed at uh, the driver and the assistant driver or radio operator. Oh, front. Silhouette looks like he's side on to me. Thanks, thank you. Oh, he's down. Come on! No, I can't see him. E34E. Oh, cheeky. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, so I don't have it in the recording, but I spawned in with another tank. And that shot from the church hill hit a Panzer III and set it on fire and just kept burning it. So I got even more points, uh, which rarely happens. I, I thought that was cool. Uh, anyways, that's it for the church hill mark one. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, put in requests. If I have the tank, I'll play it and make it my next video and catch you on the next one.